starting point was really uh, photographing reflections. And some, at first it began as just a very literal thing, a reflection in the water in the lake. And then it started to develop into something much more voluminous. It, it took on a, a completely different form. And that's when it became more and more exciting for me. At this point, it's an intuitive process, and I'm looking obviously for certain elements. I'm looking at structure, I'm looking at composition, I'm looking at color, I'm looking at texture, form, all the elements that one looks for in a painting. I have to photograph very quickly. I'll take three, maximum maybe 30 images, and then by that point, to be sure, the imagery has died. It doesn't have the freshness that when I first see it, and see something that's emerging in a reflection that is so fascinating. And it is on a fine line of abstraction. And I find a lot of those forms as I travel because they are the most foreign to me and they're therefore, they're the most mysterious and most interesting. The transformation is more literal but totally fascinating because of its storytelling quality. All of these is about imagination. And um, one learns in the abstraction, and that is, you know, the freedom from representational qualities. And one body of my work is about abstraction, um, because I have always loved abstract painting. It, it is something that transcends my inner being. People say, oh, I can't believe this is a photograph. It looks like a painting. And that pleases me because I like that crossover between two disciplines. I start downloading my imagery because I'm very excited about it and want to see it immediately on my computer. That's how the process begins. And sometimes I'm capturing something in my camera that one does not readily see. So they're never combined in the computer. It's not about the travel. It is an abstraction of the place that we bring back here to our home in Italy and then start working with those images. I'm so pleasantly surprised that they've come, they've evolved into something that I almost didn't realize when I was photographing and I start putting them together and combining them then with other images. As soon as that, I start the process of elimination and start editing and editing and editing until I really hone it down to the images that I feel really work um, to start printing. Because I'm printing on a very beautiful watercolor paper, a very solid, heavy uh, watercolor paper, it really adds another dimension because of the way the ink is received on the paper. It's integral to my images. Because I do everything in modules, I'd like to look at my work as groupings of two, three, even up to nine. Because I'm always looking for, um, you know, a new adventure, a new a challenge. You want to move on to find something else to occupy your imagination with. 